Welcome back. So, I'm going to show you guys some new trucks that I had in Snow Hunter. I had the GMC MH9500. That's my tanker trailer. Tanker truck that hauls. It gets pretty good on Petro Bay. The Pacific P12 Canadian truck. The Royal BM17. The, Caterpill the Caterpillar CT680. The Chevrolet Apache, Daring Longhorn 3194, White Western Star 4964, the Ford F750, which is a really, which has a really super cool interior. Uh, my Azov 64131, the Caterpillar 74SC. The Fleet Star F two O seven O A, and we actually have some new trucks that I managed to. I'm now a rank twenty two, so now I'm able. I actually ranked up, and I have a truck that's still a work in progress, which is the Freightliner eleven four S S D. It's a pretty, it's a pretty nice looking Freightliner, and then I have my other Freightliner right here. The another. Freightliner 11 SD and then I have the a big powerful Pacific P16 then I have the Pacific P512 PF and then the final one the ANK MK38 as the newest truck that I found on Pedro Bay I used to have an H2, but I sold it because I realized that there's another H2 on Petro Bay that I still have to do. Pretty good looking interior, I will admit. The horn's pretty loud. Apparently, a lot of people say in the say in the game that that play the SnowRunner game, it's one of the most unstable trucks. I don't think so. I haven't really towed or pulled anything with it yet so it's just kind of like a it's a United States uh, military truck I, I'm still doing some research oh, oh, almost hit oh, 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 don't get, don't get okay, good. I'm still doing some research on it to see what it would just to see kind of learning about it still it handles pretty good and yeah I do have the hands I, I also, a lot of people say, too, that the hands are, like, they kind of bug a lot of people in, in SnowRunner, which I can I can definitely understand. I have it because it looks kind of cool, too. It, you can see, like, the hands, and it makes you feel like that you're actually driving the truck itself. So, I'm going to take the... 750 out and I'm going to show you guys the interior view of the Ford 750. Go back here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're going to bring it out. We're going to swap out the GMC for the Ford's F750. You get this at a pretty hardcore Alaska or a hardcore Russian mission in SnowRunner. It's pretty darn hardcore, but the freaking into once the once the light hits on it, it's pretty cool. So I got a lot of service spare parts, fuel, in case if we go on a long journey, I want to make sure I have all the fuel I can get for it. As you can tell right now, I'm in Michigan, yeah, I'm in Black River, Michigan. Just kind of, I kind of, on this map, I don't really have really hardly anything going on, so I just kind of cruise around and drive around and enjoy, enjoy the scenery, you know. International pay stop 5070. That must be another mission I gotta do. I'll probably do that when I get home, probably. Now I'll just take down that speed sign because it's for Ford. It's built for tough. I got the cool fuzzy, I got the cool dice in the truck because, you know, when you drive an old retro truck like this, you gotta have dice. It, it just makes the truck 
It just makes the truck a lot more cooler and more retro. Come on, old girl. And a girl. Okay, so now that the sun's starting to come out, we can now uh, see the interior view of the truck itself. Got an old school radio there. Oh, I probably should keep my eyes on the road, probably. There, we're gonna pull into the farm over here so we can get a... Is that always on? Oh yeah, differential lock is always on. Okay, I forgot about that. I can't... Too bad I can't see the engine, so I don't know what engine it has on. Uh, I, like, I can't, like, lift up the hood and stuff on the Ford. Come on. So we're going to pull into this. This farm over yonder here. And we are going to see the interior of the Ford. Oh, look at that. He's got a, he's got, like, a ring. Like a gold ring. That's pretty cool. So... You can tell the Ford is very old school. Got the interior view, got the gauges, amps, fuel, volts. It's got a, it's a pretty good, good looking truck actually, very well done. I have the spare tire on the set there because, oh, oh okay, oh, there we go. Right there, because in the, if, you, if you see in the middle right there, it's kind of got a gap in the middle that really bugged me so i decided to fill that gap in with some extra spare tires in case if i blow a tire so you know you got all the old school metal old school you know window rolling window um handle cranks you got the speedometer which is 100 miles an hour fuel the temperature gauge 150 rpms uh, 40, I think this thing holds 40 tanks of oil. Oh, wait, oil's right there. What is that then? 40, I, I, I think that's amps. I'm still, like I said, I'm still learning about temperature, oil. Okay, amps is there, fuels there. Then what the heck is that gauge then? Maybe it's the speedometer, I don't know miles on it. I don't have a lot. Um, I probably do. I have probably like 98 miles probably on this truck already. But, it's a pretty cool truck. One of my one of my favorites so far of the vehicles. Hopefully I will be getting mods pretty soon to do a showcase on that and I will be having Kid Pool and my good friend, my good friend Brandon in a video. And we'll be doing some highway trucking on a brand new map. Come on. And we'll just take that fence down because I'm in kind of a pickly predicament. You can see the drive train is spinning right there, the, the drive shaft. Wait, that ain't the road. Whoop. I'm an Iowa guy, so running over corn is a really big, absolute big no-no in the Midwestern state. Hopefully I'll be able to rank up and I'll be able to get some more trucks as the uh, as I progress and stuff in the game. So, yeah, we're gonna drive this truck back to the shop and we will end the video there. It does have a pretty good old school rev or engine block under the hood. I think there's a cigarette lighter, or a, oh, yep, right there, yep, yep, there's a classic ashtray. You think a little tree's gonna stop a Ford? Think again. There's a ignition in there. Who says Ford can go through water? It's built for tough. If 
I had really any money or whatever, or if I had my license, my driver's license, this is probably a truck I would most likely get, or a, or a, uh, like a 40s, um, GMC truck. I just like to just slam on the brakes, leave a leave a mark on there, even though the tires still have treads on them. Now I don't know why I have. Wait a minute, let me look here. Is there a second? Is there a second Freightliner? I don't know. There has to be. Let's see. So I'm getting close to unlocking the Gary Longhorn Forty Five Twenty. Let's see, uh, yeah, I'm nowhere near close to getting the A's off. 42 2D Antarctic. Yeah, there is a second. Oh, I have the same Freightliner. <laughs> I have that one. This is the one I got, the Freightliner 11 4SD. I could buy the Freightliner M916 A1. I think that's the one I need. I'll sell the one that's a work in progress truck and I'll purchase that and then we will work on it the next time I come home. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this one because this is a spare Freightliner. I still have my other one, don't I? Um, I hope that would be enough to buy. I think it would be. Yes, I do. Okay, I got the other Freightliner. Okay. So now I'm going to buy the second Freightliner in the game. Or, then I think I have two, both Freightliners on. Let's go boom, and then we'll go boom. All right, next time... In the video, we'll be working on the Freightliner 49-6-A-1. It's got a pretty cool looking interior, I will admit. It's a pretty small little truck, but hey, small trucks still can be pretty powerful. Out for a little test drive, see what it's like. There's a trailer over there. I should probably try to avoid that. Woo! All right. Well, I mean, test drive is definitely successful. I this is probably a truck I probably will keep. What can I get for the? I think I can only get a. Let's see what I can get. I think I can get an, I think I can also get an add-on. Crane. Okay, a saddle and a, and a low saddle. Okay. So this will probably be a saddle high truck. My other one is a saddle low truck. Um, off-road. Yeah, we probably want off-road tires, probably. We don't want highway tires. Probably want the best of the best for this truck, so... I always go with these tires, the 43 inch tires in the off-road section. Because one, it, they're powerful. Two, they get through the mud really good. And we'll see what, what else we got. Power, we need all the power we can get out of this little truck. Freeze the suspension from mud. Here you got the tires. A winch, we're probably gonna possibly need a winch. Okay, we don't have the money. Okay, that's fine. That could still be a thing I'm working up for. Saddle around cap snorkeler if we go through water. Exhausts. Ah, we don't need the big stacks. Eh. Heat, so. I 
we'll get those. Those look pretty cool. And we will get the bumper. Yeah, we'll keep that stock. Get beacons. There you go. Here's if we haul a big load with this little freight liner. I want to make sure it's got all the power it can, it can, it can be enough to pull the, the trailer if I need to. Since this is more of an old school truck, it gets to have the special old school look. It's going to be the one, just like on the cover of the game, it's going to be painted yellow. Alright. Right now, it's still a work in progress. We still need to get suspension. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, what, 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 what was it? Win yeah, a winch. We still need to get a high power medium winch. We got the snorkel, the frame saddle, off road, especially off road. Oh, we need um, all wheel drive only. I think this truck right has it. Let's see, does it? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I, yep, it's got all wheel drive. Okay. Differential lock. Yep, that's always on. All right, perfect. And I'm going to bring it back around, and we'll end the video there. <laughs> That's a little truck, but I love it. It's a pop. I, this thing might actually, these tires also go really good on ice, too, which is amazing. I mostly use these in, like, the Alaskan, like, if we go to, like, Alaska, like onto the icy roads i always use these tires because one they got good grip two they're really good at traction and three they go really good through the through the snow and the mud and stuff that alaska throws all right well if you liked it let me know what you thought in the comments down below and we will see you in the next one